fellow fingerboarders, Todd's back again. Imagine that. Um, as a side note, before I even get started, this is my fourth uh, attempt at this video. Uh, I have no editing skills, so uh, the last one I wasn't done and I ran out of, uh, you know, on my hard drive, so I had to go back and delete one a couple times. I got distracted by a knock on the door and whatnot. But anyways, hopefully we'll get down to business this time and, and uh, get it knocked out. As usual, the first item of business is the random uh, subscriber drawing for the week. Um, again, you guys know the drill. Each week I pick a subscriber at random and give away a deck, set of wheels, you know, something fingerboard related. <clears throat> this week's winner is Craig Jefferson Skates. So, uh, again, you know the drill. Get at me, you know, message me through YouTube. Give me your address and we'll get that out to you. Um, I don't know if you guys remember last week's video. We had the uh, Yoda McDonald's uh, fingerboard. You're welcome to have that if you want it. Or I can send you a deck from the stock. It's up to you. So you just let me know what you want in your uh, message and we'll, we'll get it out to you. Because those decks are pretty cool actually from McDonald's. So, uh, But anyways, that's the first item of business check. Uh, second item of business, uh, you guys remember we had, I, I had a video from about three or four weeks ago maybe about the creative obstacle contest. Uh, we have a clear and cons you know undisputed uh, winner of that contest, and that that person's uh, YouTube ID is Enjoy Thirty Nine Joe, and basically he was the sole entrant, so he was a winner by default. But the obstacle was still cool nonetheless. I've never seen it. I don't know if somebody's done it before, but you know, it's irrelevant. I thought it was pretty cool, so I explained to you guys what he did. I'll, I'll try to put a link right now her in the uh, in the uh, description I don't know if I put a YouTube link in there or not but I'll, I'll try to get something in there so you guys can get to that video and check it out but basically you know my guy took a, a, a three ring binder a big one and he took the metal part out and he hot glued it to a piece of cardboard so you know the little clamper deals were like anyways little pincher things were can open and close it, and he put cardboard and then on top of that it put like a peel and stick piece of uh, tile of some sort that looked like marble or something like that and you know what happened was when it was open the legs were open it, it was like a table you know solid but when you closed them it would fall down and become a bank you know so I thought that was really cool so you know regardless of whether or not he was the only entrant it was a really cool really cool little obstacle so you know Enjoy 39 Joe, you get at me. Well, actually, you did. You contact me, so I've got your information anyway. But uh, you know, I'll, we'll get together and you know figure out how to get everything shipped to you and uh, get that little cool obstacle. I, I would like to have that be kind of cool to add to the park. So uh, that's the second item of business. Check. Um, another thing I'm doing this week is there's there's a few things that, that uh, transpired over the last week or so in fingerboarding and it's not really like a news or an updates for other people but you know for me these things are really cool so you know I'm going to share those with you know my subscribers and my viewers in case anybody didn't catch them or you know is not abreast of what's going on outside of no comply and I occasionally do this sometimes but uh, first time of business Justin Rodriguez from Homewood Fingerboards, you know, he's, a lot of people know, man, he and I are really good friends, you know, he's, you know, he's got some skills when it comes to making fingerboards, that's the bottom line. And he, he's been working on his molds for quite some time, and he finally got all nine of them in hand. So, you know, there's varying degrees of kick heights and concaves and, you know, different intricacies in each mold, you know, that he worked really hard on getting designed. So. You know, I, I believe they're M1 through M9. Why am I writing this down on my paper? <laughs> Anyways, I circled it too. Hey. But yeah, you know, M1 through M9. So anytime you guys see Justin, you know, announce that he's taking orders or anything, man, su support my guy. He's, he, you know, he, he's, he's really got some skills and he's got dedication. So, you know, that's awesome news for me because I know he's been waiting a long time. So, um, <clears throat> Excuse me, second item of business. Um, this one, previously this had happened on a smaller scale. I don't know, it was either earlier in the year or last, end of last year, but Mike from Flatface had uh, one of his fingerboards on the TV show House on, on Hugh's desk in, the, in that first segment, which you know was earlier in the year, late last year. Um, 
but that happened again a couple nights ago. But the cool thing about it is, was, you know, as it was sitting on the desk, Hugh was thinking, you know, some about treating a patient or something, you know, and uh, just started kind of flipping around like this and did a little flippy de deal, pressure flip dealio thing, and just kind of was tapping it around, you know, as he was thinking it. You know, that's really cool, you know, because it's exposure, you know, and irrelevant of any past issues, you know, between myself and Mike, you know, that's exposure that, you know, in my opinion is, it can never be bad. <clears throat> you know, anytime there's, you know, a, a legit fingerboard company that can get exposure for not only themselves, but other people, there's no, there's no bad in that. So, you know, that's awesome. You know, big ups to Mike for pulling that off. Um, you know, it'd be awesome to, to, to see more of that or hell, you know, somebody that knows anybody that's a, uh, you know, uh, on a, on a network chat, any, I don't know, ESPN 8 or 25, what, I mean, anything, two, three, <laughs> any of those ESPN channels, it'd be cool to have everybody get together, man, at one big get together and have it like televised, you know, and have you know, legit companies, banners up, you know, have people fly me. It'd just be off off the hook, you know, man. That's That's been the thing on my mind for, you know, ever since I started, how that would be awesome, you know, and it may get to that point one day, you know, and things like that happen, you know, on house, you know, is what, is what, as a series of events can lead up to something big like that. So, you know, that's check. Um, so, yeah. And another, another item of business is, uh, you know, I know a lot of you guys probably know Frankie Fingerdex. You know, I know, I've known him behind the scenes for uh, quite some time. He's ordered some custom, some custom decks from me and, you know, we talk sometimes. And it, he's just an all-around great guy who's doing really good things to promote fingerboarding, you know, through YouTube, in my opinion. And, you know, again, that's something that there, there, there can't be any kind of wrong in that. So. Uh, anyways, he and I have been talking a little bit. We're going to try to work out some sort of collaboration deal for like a YouTube thing. And, and I, I, don't, I don't necessarily say it'd be something regular, maybe just a one-time deal. Um, you know, but, you know, just a heads up to you guys, that's, that's something that's kind of being loosely thrown around. So, you know, just, just to give you guys a heads up, you know, that, uh, you know, at some point in time that may, may come through. So uh, we can uh, check that one off. A uh, couple other things. Um, I want to get to, uh, oh yeah, I want to show this, this deck here. This is a deck that, uh, the graphic I was working on, uh, um, let's see if I can get this guy centered here. Oops. Yeah, it, it's uh, basically, I, currently my, my personal favorite mold is the M1. It's low kicks and somewhat realistic shape, you know, that's what I prefer, but um, this is a, a graphic, a, a representation of myself uh, themed as like the old garbage pail kids, um, you know, and also more so that, you know, in 1991 blind, uh, Mark Gonzalez and, and, and the design team, they put together a, a, a blind kids series, you know, um, where it, it was a, it was a play on the garbage pail kids. And I get a lot of my inspiration from old skating. So, you know, cause that was one at the time I skated like 89, 90, 91. So, you know, again, it's a representation of myself. Like you can't see it on here, but I'm holding a little fingerboard over here. I got a pop factory shirt on representing DC, no doubt. Um, you know, I got my little scruff, my little, <laughs> little, uh, buzzed head and everything, a little paint can of lacquer over here. So, you know, I don't know if you guys can tell, but we're evil twins, <laughs> but uh, be on the lookout for this, guys. We're, you know, I'm going to do a couple of graphics for Team Riders with this theme. Uh, Eddie Vargas is working on, you know, one for himself for, you know, for the for the likeness and, you know, just, you know, just want to give you guys heads up. And this is a uh, real wear graphic too. It's it's actually, uh, you know, something that's, you know, basically the the material that we're going to be using for now. We, you know, got a hold of a, a, a company in the skate industry to get some uh, real heat transfers printed. Uh, we're, we're working on that right now. This is a, a pretty uh, close, uh, you know, to that method, you know, and, and it gives you a realistic wear too. So, you know, guys, just, just keep an eye out for that. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think that's going to be it for now. Um, again, 
sorry about that, guys. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, but again, I thank everybody for continuing to watch the videos, and I'm going to start doing like a, a random, another random video about, I don't know, man, I, I, I used to, I, everybody enjoys like when I rant, when I type, they all give me a hard time because it's like 87 million paragraphs long, it's like a book to read, and but it's always a good read, everybody tells me, so I think I'm going to do that because there's been some things that's been bothering me lately that I think that my interpretation of those might be found as enjoyable to some of you guys or some of you guys may think I'm just plum stupid and I don't know it doesn't matter you know it's just something for me to do to occupy you know some of my time so be on the lookout for that and uh, again I appreciate all the subscribers all the support and in closing I just want to say this if I can write it out I'm hurrying. I write slow. I can fast type that. Fast type or type faster. You can't read it. I know you can't. But it says innovate, not imitate. Hey, remember, guys, support the innovators and not the imitators because innovation got us where we're at today in fingerboarding. And imitation didn't get us anywhere. So, um, you know, just keep that in mind, guys, as you go about your fingerboarding venture. And again, I appreciate all the support. I'm out of here. No shade drop this week. I'm going to give you a double piece.